Good day, everyone. We will examine a situation in which the database of an always on availability group on a secondary replica switches to a state of not synchronizing. We will provide an overview of troubleshooting steps required to diagnose the problem and suggest potential solutions. Let's get started. We'll be utilizing this particular environment for this video. We have uh, two replicas, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 on the primary region configured with uh, synchronous availability mode. JBS AG3, which is uh, present in the DR uh, location, acts as an uh, asynchronous replica. We have an uh, availability group called JBS AG and we have databases JBS Wiki, JBDB added to this particular availability group. So the situation right now is like, uh, we have identified that uh, a, a database that is added to uh, availability group JBS AG is not synchronizing on the synchronous uh, secondary replica JBS AG2. Let's uh, look at it. JBS AG1 is the primary replica. So let's uh, get into uh, the SSMS and first let's look at the availability group dashboard for availability group JBS AG. If you look at it, yeah, we are able to see that um, there is an um, uh, um, uh, error sign for JBS AG2. And if you can look at uh, uh, the synchronization uh, details for JBS AG2, we are able to see that there is a warning. And uh, the status, the uh, synchronization state for all the three databases that are added to uh, this availability group is basically showing as not synchronizing. And if you look at the warnings, what we are able to see is like we are able to see some uh, uh, generic error, which basically tells us like tells that that this secondary database is not joined to the availability group. Uh, the configuration of this secondary database is incomplete. And this one basically tells like the data synchronization state of this availability group database is unhealthy on a, so it is, it is all a generic error that we are seeing right now. Let's uh, uh, close this and then go to JBS AG2. Let's refresh that and then check the uh, databases here. And what you are able to see is like, uh, uh, we know that there are three databases in uh, JBS AG2. And now here I'm just seeing two databases here, JBS Wiki and JBDB, and both are not synchronizing. And if I look at the always on availability group folder, I'm able to see that JBS AG2 the availability group is secondary here, but if I look at the availability databases, what I'm seeing is like uh, JBDB is basically kind of failed here. So JBS, JBDB and JBS Wiki, both the databases are failed and uh, finance DB is basically showing a warning symbol. So now what we'll do is like, we'll just try uh, suspend the data movement for JBDB and then we will uh, resume the data movement and then see what happens. is running uh, it has suspended for sure because uh, we are able to see that uh, uh, the status has changed yeah let's wait for it to complete let me um, um, I think it's gonna take some time so let me pause this uh, video and then uh, resume it once uh, something happens as res updating object explorer that's again step is concerned Okay, so uh, this availability group database is uh, paused now. Now let me resume it. So it is uh, resumed, but what I'm seeing is like uh, it has uh, failed again. I don't see um, uh, it uh, coming to uh, uh, a green here. So what I'll do now is like, I'll basically look for any uh, uh, clues as far as JBS AG2 is concerned from the SQL server error log. So let's execute it. And if I see here, what I'm able to see is like, this is where I basically suspended it, yeah? So if you see here, uh, this is where I uh, suspended it. Uh, now, this is very interesting. If you see here, uh, so I'm able to see this particular message here. Uh, it's like, uh, uh, yep, uh, 735. 
what I'm able to see is like it is basically giving a message stating like the database mirroring endpoint has stopped listening for connections. The database mirroring endpoint is in disabled state or stop state. So this is the message I'm seeing in SQL Server error log. If you see here, uh, time now is 9:32 a.m. But I'm uh, looking at uh, the SQL error log. What I'm seeing is like it basically tells like uh, the endpoint. Uh, the mirroring endpoint is down and the connection between server JBS AG2 uh, with the ID this one and uh, JBS AG1 with the ID of that GUID has been disabled because the database mirroring endpoint was either disabled or stopped. So it basically tells like because of this there seems to be a problem restart the endpoint by using alter endpoint. So this is the message that we are getting it basically tells like uh, um, someone has stopped it or something has stopped it, but we don't know what is it. But it is very clear that it basically tells like uh, the mirroring endpoint is down. That seems to be the root cause of this problem as of now at least. Let's query uh, the primary replica as well and see if we can get some information there. I'm looking at uh, uh, the error log there as well. So around 732, that is when we had this problem on JVS AG2. Yeah. So uh, just to confirm that, um, if you see here, uh, 7:35:59, that's the time. Yeah, 7:35:59. Let's go to 7:35 here, yeah, and then see if we have anything in interesting. 7, 7:35:59, 7:35. So 7:35:59. At least I don't see anything here, but uh, it basically tells around 7:36 the connection timeout has occurred on a previously established connection to availability replica JBS AG2 with uh, this ID. It basically tells like either a networking or a firewall issue, just like uh, uh, a normal uh, generic error, which basically tells like connection could not be made, but. Uh, the message in uh, JBS AG2 is pretty clear. It basically tells like the mirroring endpoint is stopped. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the status of uh, uh, mirroring uh, endpoint. Yeah. So what I'll do is like I will go to uh, uh, JBS AG1 again here, yeah? and then I will go to the query, and then I will change it to uh, SQL CMT mode, and then I will execute this query. So what? That this query is doing it is going to uh, query your DMV sys dot TCP underscore uh, endpoints and then basically um, uh, going to uh, 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 check for type uh, uh, description database mirroring. Let me execute it. So if you see here uh, in JBS AG1 and JBS AG3, we are able to see that uh, the endpoint. Uh, with the port of 5022 is started, but in uh, JBS AG2, it is basically stopped. That seems to be the problem. Let's do one more thing. Let's put in server name as well, just to make sure there is no confusion. And then we will execute this query one more time. So if you see, uh, JBS AG1 and JBS AG3 has its uh, endpoint started, but JBS AG2 is stopped. So whatever we uh, saw in the SQL Server error log basically concurs with uh, what we are seeing in the output of this particular query. Yeah. So now what I'm uh, going to do is I'm going to start this endpoint uh, on uh, JBS AG2. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm uh, uh, going to execute this particular query, which basically uh, tells like uh, alter endpoint, HADR endpoint state is equal to started. Uh, please note that I'm in SQL CMD mode here. Yeah? So let me execute that. And uh, it basically tells like uh, connecting to JBS AG2 and disconnecting. So let's look at the uh, status one more time after we try starting it. So now what I'm seeing is like on JBS AG1, AG2 and AG3, uh, the endpoint is basically showing us started. So now let's look at the uh, uh, always on availability group dashboard. And what I'm seeing is like, we don't have the problem anymore. Uh, JBS AG2 is, n uh, the synchronization state is no longer not synchronizing, instead it is synchronized. So what I understand is that the root cause of this issue is uh, uh, could uh, like is directly coming from the SQL server error log, which basically advised us like, 
the whole issue is due to this mirroring endpoint going down. Yeah. So right now, um, uh, uh, doing an RCA is going to be a different thing, but uh, understanding why the database mirroring endpoint went down, uh, I'm not sure on that. But um, as of now, we are able to clearly understand like uh, the database mirroring endpoint as soon as it is started in JBS AG2, the issue is resolved. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.